All right, hello everybody. Welcome back, Carl again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, I'm having low pH issues here in my um, kind of mini reef tank, and uh, and by mini I mean just a few pieces of coral at this point. And so what I've decided to do is try to see if it was perhaps um, carbon dioxide. So I do have fans. You can see it's actually running now um, on the tank to cool it. And a lot of people seem to think that helps enough to kind of oxygenate the water. I do have good surface agitation, at least I feel I do, with the two power heads there and the return jet. And so I feel like I have good surface agitation. However, I'm still having just kind of chronic low pH. And I mean low like 7.5, 7.4. Um, usually during the day I might get to 7 to 8 if I'm lucky. Um, one thing I did was try to dose calc washer in my auto top off. The only thing I did was put my, my alkalinity really high, like 12 and 13. So, and I still would still have pH under 8.1. Anyhow, so what I've done was I've taken my air inlet from the skimmer. This is the one that runs down to the Venturi. And I connected a quarter inch airline tube in there, as you can see. And that runs out behind my stand. So it runs up the wall into the rafters and then all the way over and then it runs outside and you're not going to be able to see the airline because it's tucked up there um, behind the wall. I hooked this up at about 1130 and my pH was like 7.6 and you can see now it's 8.07 so almost 8.1 so I've come up quite a lot and it's now 230 so 1130 so what is that four hours I've come up, oh, a good from 7.5 to 8. And I'm, I'll get on uh, my data login website, Exively, and show you that. All right, so as you can see, this is the Exively website, and uh, this is my pH. And what you can see is it's saying that it is currently 8.04. And here's my graph. So this line here represents 8, pH of 8, and this line at the bottom represents 7.5. So you can see at about 9 o'clock this morning, it was about 7 and a half. And there's this nice, slow ramp up. Now, a couple things to note. This morning, um, here in Maryland, we've actually had a pretty mild summer day for August. And I actually had the window open um, in the basement where my fish tank is. So I opened the window, and immediately I saw kind of an increase in pH. So that really got me wondering. I've been reading a lot about, um, you know, pH and low CO2 is kind of the main cause. So once I opened the window and saw my pH start to come up, I thought, hmm, this might be something. And then and again at about 11.30, I hooked the airline up and ran it outside. So at 11.30 was like 7.8. So um, just in that short amount of time, you can see how much it's come up. So uh, anyhow, I'm gonna take you outside and I'll show you the airline tubing that goes outside. We're outside of the house here and there is the line um, right here. Um, this is a quarter inch fitting. Um, so I drilled about a quarter inch hole to get the airline through there. And then just put a little glue to kind of caulk that up. And then I have just this um, airline fitting so it doesn't pull through. Also, so if I need to pull it back, I can.